This Asian guy apparently has no problem meeting women at the nightclub, but when it comes to finding a girlfriend, he has no luck. What could be the issue here? I got to tell you something. You know, to get something in the club, you only have to be appealing for two hours. But to find some love, you have to be appealing for 20 years. Uh, you that guys, was so gotta, romantic. We got to talk about this post. This guy was basically like, hey guys, I'm a Korean American. I live in New York City. I'm 30 years old. I glowed up when I was 29. So I've only been sexually attracted to women for one year. And uh, when I'm at the nightclub, I am able to get attention from women and even... Go home with some. However, when I go on dates with women who are nurses or potentially pharmacists, I often get ghosted for the second date. All my friends are getting married. I'm starting to feel pressure. Uh, I feel like I have some appeal because I'm doing good at the nightclub. But when it comes to dating, no girls want me to be their boyfriend. Yeah, so uh, guys, hopefully, you know, the, he came to the internet for actual advice so we want to give this a earnest conversation and give it some thought also we have a whole comment section that weighed in as well so please hit that like button check out other episodes of the hot pot boys you know what's really interesting about this i think it says a lot about him as a person which we don't know obviously because it's reddit unless you provide photos and all this hyper uh, linkedin and some context or whatever but that's way too specific that's doing away with the you know the anonymous nature of reddit but you know what it has a lot to do with i think andrew societal dynamics too oh but you know what else is happening in society small sauce is happening delicious chili oil is being shipped out right now but oh well, let's get into some more details andrew he wants to date a girl his own age but a lot of the chicks that he meets at the club are way younger. Mm -hmm. but okay. he, so he's, I guess he wants to marry somebody much older, and I'm sure the younger girls at the club, they're not in that, even thinking about marriage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, basically what this sounds like is kind of sounds like a classic, I glowed up to be an F-boy to have some F-boy appeal. Now I can talk to chicks at the club because at the club, it's a very short-term thinking, right? Girls, Only two hours. It's just whatever is exciting and fun at the time people are going to do, right? But... I think something about his interactions with women on these dates must be somewhat of a turnoff. Right. And maybe my hunch is, not knowing this guy, is that he might not be emotionally mature. Mm. That's my hunch. Um, some more details, Andrew. His hobbies are work and the gym. He occasionally likes to trade stocks. And his favorite type of girl is the Americanized Asian girl look. So kind of like what? Like a Chloe Kim, Jamie Chung, got some... I, I call this the Santa Barbara Sort of whitewashed sure. Asian girl look. Sure, yeah. I mean, but but he's in New York, so we kind of know. These, these I wouldn't say these girls, these girls are more of a West Coast girl. Yeah, and I would say actually a lot of girls who look like this, I'm not saying all, don't even date Asian guys. Yeah, well, you know, who they knows? Might get, they might get dragged to the Asian club by their Asian friend who does date yeah. Asian guys. Anyway, let's take a look at some potential glow-ups, Andrew, so we have a reference, because we, we're never going to know what this guy looks like, Andrew. What do we think about this first glow-up uh, from this guy right here with the glasses? Yeah, man, yeah, that's a decent glow up. I mean, kind of just looks like he took off his glasses and changed his hairstyle and then put on a ring. Okay, uh, okay, so that not not too dramatic there. Right, right, right. Yeah, it kind of looks like Easton Chan. Now, boom, what about this one? I don't even think that's the same person, in my opinion, to be honest, man. I'm like doubtful. That's crazy. His nose is completely different, but man. If that is the same person, he's that. That's one of the best transformations on the internet, maybe in planet Earth history. Um, from January to July, this guy, yeah, I think if you hit the gym hardcore, you fix up your diet. Kind of got can, the K-pop look. Uh, went with the shaggy bangs in front. Boom! This one was pretty dramatic. This guy was eating like a hakao, like dim sum or something like that. Like no, some it's like a mouse. It's like a it's, yeah. It's a dumpling in the shape of a mouse. Right, right, right. The coconut dessert. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. that that one is pretty significant, especially with Man, the. He's uh, ripped now, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I can see his V line through the with the shadows and the sunlight. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got some other glow ups. If you look at them here, shout out to these guys for making videos about this. A lot of these are on YouTube, um, so you can probably watch their whole like process. Yeah. So all right. So what we're gonna do, Andrew, is get in some bro talk but i want to preface this and tell me if you agree with this or not when it comes to evaluating guys situations with girls it's almost like even the best advice is only eight out of ten true because there's so many variables i don't like it when people give guys girl advice and be like this is 10 out of 10 gonna happen 
Right, no one can guarantee what's going to happen. It all depends on your environment, who you are, how you execute it, your personality. Yeah, I would compare it to basketball where you leave the, you know, the bad shooter open in the corner for the game winner. You'll give it up. But occasionally, like 10% of the time, they might hit the shot. Right, right, but right. But you got to live with it. Um, do you think it's a pooling issue? Do you think it has to do with the fact that he does live in Manhattan? And a lot of girls in Manhattan, in my opinion, Andrew, whether they work as a, a pharmacist or a nurse, they, they move to Manhattan to have high standards. Yeah, but also, I think it depends. So let's say he goes to the club and he meets a lot of like, 20 year olds or 20 some year olds like 25 year olds right and then he's in his early 30s and he's trying to settle down with a 24 year old in manhattan that's pretty tough well those girls don't are not even in that mode yeah a lot of girls when they move to manhattan and they're at that age um i'm not saying they're not open to a relationship but they're not necessarily open to being locked down i mean listen the city is at their fingertips they want to go out they want to be social so being locked down with this 30 some year old is not necessarily the first thing on their mind i guess do you think that the linkage between being able to attract women at the club and being able to attract women as a girlfriend it's always been there, but do you think those two things are almost more separate lanes now than they ever have yeah, been? Yeah, I, I think in so. In 2023. Listen, when it comes to like having fun at the club, really, if you're good looking and you're bold and you're tall, and let's be honest, depending on what your standard is, you lower your standard a little bit, you can have a lot of fun at the club. It's not that hard once you meet those metrics. But. The girlfriend thing, you personality-wise, your commitment, that all comes into play. What you have to offer, what your holistic mm -hmm. life is. Uh, so what are your hobbies? Oh, I like to trade stocks and work out. Well, no girl just wants to date a guy who just wants to work out and trade stocks only. But at the club, it doesn't matter because they're not your girlfriend. Right. And I noticed that a lot of girls that are sort of the girlfriend type and are looking for a boyfriend, Andrew, would you agree with me or not? They like museums, art galleries, various exhibits, pop-ups, galas, depending on you know how social they are, what industry they're in, and theme friend cooking parties where a lot of couples might go hang out together. Yeah. Like couple things. Yeah. Um, you don't have to be an actually interesting guy to get attention at the club. That's the truth. You just be like, uh, you know, I like glowed up. Yeah, you just have to be bold and be good looking. Yeah, you gotta put yourself out there. Um, I do think that girls that live in the suburbs and the girls who live in the city do have like different lifestyle demands. Yeah, I, like, obviously I, I would say girls who move and live in the suburbs probably- They think on, different. On average are maybe living a little bit more of a traditional life. Obviously women in the city, it's different. It's a lot of career women. Right, right, right. Well, there's a whole meme on TikTok right now of I'm an NYC girly, mm. which is like, you know, I'm an NYC girly. I need to do brunch at blah, blah, blah. Right, 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 right. Um, I think when you glow up later in life, is this bound to happen? Because it's not like you were developing the conversational skills or being the boyfriend skills this whole time, right? Like, yeah, then, now you have this uh, exterior appeal, but then the engine and the mechanics on the internals, they may not have developed as much as the, the, the frame or the shell. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, listen, personality takes a lot longer to develop than muscles do. That's a good point. And I do think a lot of uh, Asian guys are you know, maybe particularly people from those type of families, you, you focus a lot on your career and academics early. Mm -hmm. So maybe there may be some blind spots in personal development. Um, also, I just think it's different now. I think a different generation of people, they act different. Yeah. But honestly, if no girls like him and he's an attractive dude, I don't know, maybe he's kind of mean. Yeah. Like, I'm just throwing it. You have to, these are all options. I'm not saying you can't be a nice person. You can't change, but I'm just saying, dude, you got to look at yourself. For sure, for sure, absolutely. I think there's external factors as well as a lot of internal factors, but how you weigh them, uh, obviously we don't know this guy. It's gonna be some combination of the two. Um, this guy said, a buddy of mine is struggling with the same issue. Um, I just think that, man, it's just really hard to date nowadays. So this guy is almost blaming it on the macro dating environment. Dude, if you're an attractive dude, man, you're, you're in a good position. I think a lot of the time, a lot of guys say, blame it. I'm like, oh, it's hard to date. It's like, you don't fully know what you want. And you're probably not mature, to be honest. That's okay. But I'm just saying, like, dude, if you got appeal, that's a great place to start. This guy said, just the fact that you have to come to the internet to ask random people for advice kind of goes to show you that you already are not getting any good advice in your real life. Oh, man. I mean, it's somewhat true. I kind of agree with this comment. Right, right? because you're saying if you had better, more personalized, individualized coaching available in your circle, why would you go to the internet? Right.
Yeah, no, that's a good point. I uh, think the best advice is about looks. Like, hey, guys, this is how I look. What should I do? And then just do what the internet says, and that's literally the best way. This whole thing of like, hey, how come girls don't like me? Well, I don't know, man. You gotta, We got to get to know you. Right. You would have to be somebody's psychiatrist, and not only psychiatrist, like see what their Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Jungkook is like. Um, this guy said, man, it really just depends. Everybody's mental state is so different. When I'm sober on a Monday, I might research the best lamp on Amazon for an hour for a $50 lamp. But then when I'm drunk at the club on Saturday and my friend asked me to split a $5,000 table tab, I might also say yes. Wow. It's because my mental state is so different. So basically, he, this guy was just pointing out, like, how can you compare the club, like, where somebody just, you just, everybody's looking for two hours of fun versus somebody looking for their husband for 20 years or more of fun. Exactly, exactly. No, that's a good point. Um, somebody just said, man, that's what happens when you're a late bloomer F-boy. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I agree. That's probably... Mostly true. Um, what do you think about somebody was saying, yeah, you're pulling, you're, you're buying BMWs, but the, the price of different BMWs based on the mileage and how the BMWs look is so different. No, this guy's talking about like, obviously different types of girls, obviously. Right, 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 okay. He's comparing them to, you know, I'll say this. First of all, I'm not saying it's a great analogy. If you ever look up the prices of BMWs, you, you would not believe how much they vary. Right, right, the, right. The second a BMW is off warranty, is like, man, I don't know. It drops like 30%. Um, somebody said, you probably come off poorly in conversation. You're, there's probably a mismatch between your profile and real life. And professional women generally want somebody with a similar or more realistically higher level of career success. I like it. Yeah, this is a good comment. Yeah, somebody said you might be boring. And he goes, yeah, I admit that I'm boring. I'm not Jimmy O. Yang or Kevin Hart. Kill me. Sue me then. I'm not the most hilarious guy. I don't even know if you got to be that funny. No, I don't think you have to be funny, man. I, I feel I, like acting like Kevin Hart or Jimmy O. Yang, that more appeals to like non-Asian women, not even like a, the type of Asian girls that like Asian guys. They wouldn't even want somebody that with uh, that much crazy expression. Yeah, man, just based off what this guy says, man, I, I don't know. I think he needs to be like in a, he needs to find some like bro circles that have actual good advice. I know sometimes some Asian dudes are kind of like Ronins where they glow up and then they're kind of like not always used to being in a big group of guys. So then they can kind of get attention from women in a nightclub sense, but they're not full like team players or like mm. fully grown people. I'm only assuming this because this is going off of what this guy told us, you know, based Man, it's kind of like, uh, what's his name? Wolverine. Wolverine, he's like the rogue until then he signed up with the X-Men yeah, and worked yeah, out. But before yeah. he was just kind of a little Ronin. Um, somebody said, hey, man, I don't know what you're complaining about. Sounds like you, you're doing okay to me. Like, what do, you, what do you feel so much pressure to like fit in with all your other friends that are getting married and having kids right now? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, what'd you glow up for? You glowed up to have some fun, right? But now that you have the fun and you have some appeal, you have to start thinking about, you know, what women who think long-term would want. Right. Long-term thinking women. Ultimately, Andrew, we don't know much about this guy. You know, people are throwing their two cents in. Possibly, I don't even know if he's neurotypical. You know, sometimes people are on the spectrum and never got diagnosed because it's like a one out of five uh, or whatever. I'm just throwing it out there. What, what, what could possibly be wrong with this guy? Because this guy's a Chad in the club and he's doing bad for love. I don't know what's wrong with him. You know, you can't diagnose him, but I think what he should do is... Uh, I don't know if he had this conversation with his bros yet, but he needs to have this conversation with his bros. And like, I think there was a comment that said, hey, you need to go talk to your married friends about this. The friends who know you and who are also married and know what a relationship takes. Right. And I think you got to ask somebody who's like kind of been through it as well. Not, yeah. Like not somebody who just married their high school sweetheart. All right. And Someone dated who dated one person. around. Somebody who's seen also. the reps, like a yes. veteran, like an expert in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do think that, you know what's really interesting, Andrew? I think dating in the wide open mainstream market, it, it is really interesting as an Asian guy because the dynamics are like changing so quick right now. So this guy, he, like I said, he might, he might have been uh, more focused on STEM subjects, software engineering, something a lot earlier. And it's very difficult to develop the, um, the IQ improvement or progression without some real coaching. So I think that he, if he for sure got some blind spots, I don't know if he has any sort of physical disability that prevents him from developing in those sociality, like muscle type areas. But I would say this, watch interviews, and it may or may not be too late, to be honest, when you're 29, 30. I, you know who I like that are classic American guys that people really like, Andrew? Matthew McConaughey for white guys and Denzel Washington for black guys. 
Mm. Like I'm saying, just watch their interviews. I feel like they're so they're they're intelligent, they're well respected, and they've sort of like just seen a lot in life. So that's my general recommendation in terms of like maybe like if if you just need to adopt something that I think is going to play well in America. Yeah, yeah, because I definitely think that sometimes if people treat America like it's Asia, because you know how in Asia if you have like a really good job and you don't necessarily have a fully fleshed personality, that might be okay. Mm -hmm. But I think in America, people are looking for something that's like anchored in more of like a, I don't know, like a holistic humanistic approach. Yeah. Not just the club guys. It's different than looking for love. Yeah. Yeah. You, he could just be weird. I mean, you can kind of hide it in the club for hours at a time, but you know, when the club is dark and everybody's just into one thing anyway, they're just hyper-focused. They're kind of- Right, you're saying he got the bangs across the eyes and yeah. it's got- uh, And he's playing the EDM music. Who knows, man? Anyway, guys, let us know what you guys think of his situation in the comment section below. Not saying that we know, not trying to dox him, but uh, let us know what you think are possible scenarios. Of course, nobody knows. We encourage the debate. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.